Welcome to Troy and Jones' five-minute tech tip. This tech tip is on Google Keep. And Google I Keep. love Google Keep. I use it every day to keep me on track. So it's a great thing for students, too. Google Keep is, is a note taker. Um, and it's not quite as robust as, say, Evernote. However, it's free where Evernote is not. So, uh, and it's tied to your Google account. So it's very great for Google Apps for Education Schools. Um, but also, like Joan and I, we use it very much in our personal lives um, to keep notes. And so you go to keep.google.com. It also works on all devices. Um, so you, and it syncs to all devices. So you can keep it on your computer. You can take it on your phone. Uh, and it'll sync between the two or three or four, however many devices you use it on. Uh, but I, well, I'm on the web interface right now. To take a note, I can go here to take a note, click take a note. I can title my note um, and then start taking notes. The beauty is, and you see below, that you can color code your notes. And that keeps me organized because my to-do lists are all a different color than my notes for, say, an agenda or a conference or a meeting. So these, these options here are great. You can send a reminder so that it sends you a reminder to do something. You can share these with other people. So I could share a note with Joan, or you could share it um, between students. Students could share with you. Um, and that's a very helpful option. Here was the color coding option. So you have a, a few colors to choose from to help keep them organized. You can add an image uh, to it. So if you've um, taken an image that you want students to reference or that they want to reference in their notes for some reason, they can add an image. Um, and then that, uh, you can archive it when you're finished with it. Uh, under more here, you have uh, delete the note if you're finished with it entirely. You can add a label to it, which if your Google Note inbox gets full, you have a search bar up here, and so labeling can help. You can also just add a hashtag to a word inside the note, and that will label it as that word. Um, you can make a copy of notes. Um, and here's another great option is you can copy to a Google Doc. So once you've typed up a, a Google Note or a Google a Keep note, you can then turn it into a Google document and format it more or um, add collaborators more easily and things like that. And once you've created your note, you just hit done, and it pops it in the, in the list here of all your other notes. Um, you can also, instead of taking a note, you can make a list. A to-do list is excellent. Right. Uh, really helpful for students that are less organized because they can share that with the teacher, and you can watch to see if they're progressing in their to-do list. Right. So then once you have the to-do list, then you can check things off when they're finished, and, it, and you see it moved it to a different part of the list. Um, so then you would have your to-do list, and it would mark out what's been done. And even after you've hit done, you can still edit the note and change the color if you want. Um, and so that all your notes are nicely color-coded um, there for you. So, And then these are also in real time. So um, if, if if you make a change to a note and someone else is viewing the note, they would see the change, just like any other you know, Google document and things like that. So, When you're all done on a phone, you can just swipe it away. I love that feature. Yes, yeah, so that, that's, um, I use it for note cards or have students use it for note cards. What have you seen students use it for? Um, it's actually great for a group project organizer. Yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of options for Google Keep, and it's a tool that not a lot of people know about. So it's keep.google.com. And that's our five minute tech tip on Google to Keep.